Hackathon enthusiasts all across the country follow and keep track of what happens in Smart India Hackathon. The problem statements in SIH are usually challenging and demanding. Today, we'll be talking about one of the problem statements from SIH 2023. And for that, we have with us Bhavyata Agrawal, who is a past winner of Smart India Hackathon and will be sharing her thoughts and inputs on the problem statement SIH 1515. Smart and effective real-time management of street parking. So let's get started. Welcome, Bhavita. Hi, Vikas. Uh, nice to meet you. And hello, everyone. I'm Bhavita Agarwal. And uh, I have recently graduated from IIT Jammu in 2023 and working as software engineer in American Express. Okay, Bhavita. So nice to have you with us on this show. So before we you know, proceed to you know, learn about this problem statement, uh, tell us something about you and something about your experience as a winner of the past edition. Uh, well, I would like to say that SIH 2022 has been a very good experience for me in particular because through that SIH I did got to learn like two new languages plus I got uh, a lot of opportunities after winning SIH from the Ministry of Government like I got to part, take part in UNESCO in the Africa Hackathon and Singapore in the Hackathon. Well guys, like there are plenty of opportunities to part in more international hackathons after winning this hackathon. So yeah, keep the spirit up. And as for my own experience, uh, like these days are would be crucial if you can participate and like, work as much as possible in it. So Bhavita, tell me, why did you pick up this particular problem statement to you know talk to us about? Okay, so basically I am I did my bachelor's in civil engineering department from IIT and I even did my project in transportation department in particular. And there was this recent hackathon by GNK Police Traffic Department, which you also mentioned about this traffic congestion due to the parking unavailability in a Shina, Jammu Srinagar Highway. So this is a very interesting problem statement. I'm like quite keen to see more solutions that students are going to be submitting that okay how are they going to be dealing with India as a whole like as you can see like in Delhi and Mumbai and other metropolitan cities like this is a very very important problem and needs to be addressed out in the nation so right. that's why I was so much interested to pick this up and want to actually see and hear more ideas about it right I guess you speak on behalf of all of us and that's really a big problem and we all need a solution for that so, I mean, yeah. just off the cuff, if I have to ask you, <clears throat> what do you think can be a solution to this or what all areas should be worked upon to find a solution to this? So, what uh, what will you say on that? Well, if I in a metropolitan city, like if I live in a smart city myself, I would try to first do a research around my area and even see that uh, like there are so many uh, automatic par mm -hmm. uh, parking systems out in Canada, in Australia, in South Korea. So how did I implement it? Why couldn't we implement this in India? Like Delhi is such an advanced city and then we have Mumbai, we have Bangalore, like the whole IT city, IT hub over there. So why haven't there been system like we have people over there doing all the transaction and we have this fixed uh, prices, parking prices, like there's never been a change. Or if there has been change, so there was a large change in the pa uh, parking prices. I would try to get more, dive into the reason that why is it happened till now? And how could I actually solve this problem in reality? Like, okay, um, the mall prices haven't been increased since like last five years, and then uh, why have it isn't been an increased? If it is have been increased, then what is the change in the uh, number of cars parking over there? Is the change in more parking allocations, or is the there's more profit over there? Is the keeping low prices? Is it good for them or not? And if they are worried about it, so did they try to find a solution about it? And if they saw, try to find a solution, so why didn't they implement it yet? Do we, could we help them? Could we get their ideas? So yeah, uh, basic search, research or survey, I would do it at my own idea first. So I think it's good that we have this problem statement in this particular edition of SIH. And uh, I'm sure students uh, and the participants would come up with some real good solutions to it. And we all will be, you know, benefiting out of it. So now coming down to the problem statement they've chosen you, to, you know, talk to us about street parking issues you know i'm sure this is close to uh, you know everyone's heart even yours so has there been some kind of a you know personal experiences or personal kind of a touch with this particular situation that you you know chose to you know deal with this particular one uh, well actually choosing a problem statement in sih is basically related about how much knowledge do you have in uh, earlier 
in PIT because like I'm a civil engineer student and I have working I have worked on my BTEC project in transportation department. So I know that how much is is this issue that nowadays street parking has been a concern to a lot of people, especially the street vendors, right? Where people just park their cars everywhere. There's like more pollution, air pollution, more noise, more congestion, and uh, hence like this is a uh, now a problem mentioned by the government itself. And right now they're demanding a smart parking system in which basically we could have a price. A dynamic passing system, which is not too high, not too low, a more efficient way to handle the traffic that's coming on, more parking space available, how to effectively utilize resources. Like these are something we can just be discussing common. We list the problems out here in one particular dimension, but there is no proper solution made ahead right now in India as it were. Okay, so to begin with, how are you going to deal with this entire problem statement, and how will you handle it? Let's start with the team formation and go forward from there. See, uh, like my seniors have actually told me that this one uh, mantra for forming a team, <clears throat> basically you, uh, if it is a, a team of uh, suppose six members, we will have two members, especially working in the domain, the knowledge of their department or some in theoretical academy knowledge, one out of the box thinker. Like this is a special one because he is just focused or he's just in the team to get new ideas, innovative ideas just by thorough research and research. And then the remaining participants are just to divide it in the domain of the solution. Like suppose one for machine learning, one for web development, one for basically your whole UI, you are designing. So that's how you divide your solution into three different parts. One for the core knowledge, one out of the box, and the remaining divided among the domain of the technical stack of the applications. Okay, so in terms of team, how would you place your team members in, 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 in the sense that who all could be the team members for you if you have been, I mean, working on this particular problem? Like, uh, if I get to know about uh, this problem statement for suppose the street parking like in my earlier days i just approached my friends i had discussion hey guys like i found this problem statement on sih and you guys were also interested to work on it so yeah let's form a team let's uh, have a like i would just ask two members like two of my main friends one in the academic like in, in my batchmate since uh, like i'm a civil engineer student i will also find one more civil engineer student with me so that we could have a, a theoretical knowledge discussion a, a normal template and then I will decide who, who should be included among our friends. Like I know that there is one thing that, oh, I'm more much better friend with him or her. Should I include in a team? But I would prefer the first thing. Is it actually good to include a person in the team just because of friendship or just because you don't want to win? Because if you want to win, you should in particular how you should manage your team as a, as a team leader. If you don't want to become a team leader, then first select a person who can become an efficient team leader for your uh, team in your age. So for this particular problem statement, I mean, give, give me a tentative kind of a team. Okay, this kind of a person, this kind of a person and this kind of a person dealing with these, these roles. Okay, so uh, in specific for the street parking. I would first to selectively uh, take a person who is good in the AI or machine learning in specific because they actually ask that you have a dynamic passing system. Maybe one or two person for that. One uh, team member only dedicated to the web development or the application development. And then maybe one more member to just gather the knowledge about the competition in the market. See, maybe you have to first to see that that friend could actually do the research around the existing solutions and maybe could have an out of the box thinker. So that is the minimum number of members I would include in my own team. Mm, so that sounds like a pretty balanced team and pretty good one. So now how about, you know, going about the, you know, solve tracking the solution? In terms of research or planning, how do you go about doing it? Well, uh, as for me, I normally start with the market existing solution regarding to the problem statement not only limited to the india but to other countries as well as you know there are multiple universities which would be working on this more uh, particular research as well they will research papers published already related to this term about the parking about efficient marking dynamic uh, pricing not one piece as a whole First, highlight what is the things demanded by them, by the government or the ministry in particular in the solution. Highlight those points, 
try to just in the sign like the multiple researching sites or uh, publication sites just go uh, run this through this term mm -hmm. get more articles through a thorough research and then you can even use a prisma approach prisma approach as in just to try to limit out the important research articles through which you can drive your solution you can or make a collective solution out of it so that is the one first an effective research method then second onwards i would go on for planning that how should i basically start with my solution that what are the features to be excluded in the into the, in my website what is the thing i should be picking out as a novelty you can't say your whole solution is a novel you can only pick out that one element in that whole problem statement or the whole solution which could be the novelty of your idea that could distinguish from the other market existing solutions or which should also give you some revenue so in terms of presentation of such a problem statements you know uh, a, such a project or you know uh, the solution that you are trying to provide for this how do you try and you know create a presentation which is very effective and which actually you know communicates very well when the presentation is actually made for the people for the judges and for the mentors i would say that uh, if you try to make a presentation thinking that okay we need to present in a hackathon we need to just add the minimum elements we just need to add a solution in just a high level low level language i would say that would be an effective one because we need to present a solution as a pitch deck as you are pitching a solution to the investors out there in a very lean language including high level knowledge about the solution we want to try to give add more visual and graphics so that they could understand it more uh, as a visual appeal and have more interest to hear the knowledge yeah so in this particular thing technology is one part of it you know uh handling this thing uh, technically is one part of it but there could be you know a lot of regulatory uh, stuff attached to this particular problem so how would you deal with those things see uh as for the technological aspect the two major aspects about the team management and the business perspective as well team management as in like okay i have this whole case solution in my mind i can prepare this whole presentation about it then i can include all the terms but for others to work and on it how to get the team together as a whole not as an individual elements just putting out the solution combining all at once it should be contributing to each other ideas as well that is one of the main thing that normally teams forget while in hackathon they just focus on completing their own part of the work and like if i'm facing one problem my team member know about it but he won't help me out because like you know i just focus on my part of the work i'll do it and look okay, if we lose it's just because of her no we should be working as a team as a whole so that's one thing we should be actually be concerned about while working in a hackathon and the second is business side that apart from technical the solution is made for the people so it should be that it should be keeping in uh, areas that okay what is my revenue model i'm actually if i want to be implementing it will it actually be feasible what is sustainable is it economical pro uh, profit so these all factors should also be considered that uh, if judges are going to be listening to your problem they should be thinking that okay this can actually work in reality we could implement this idea and make a great change in the nation so you would recommend a wholesome solution not just you know a uh, technical one or maybe just an app kind of a thing but the entire solution which is like you know feasible as well as you know uh, in terms of practicality it is like should get very well accepted amongst masses as well as the uh, government okay yeah. great so now in the end if i have to ask you for a piece of advice all the young aspirants who are like willing to or maybe would be willing to in the coming editions to participate in part in the hackathon and deal with similar kind of a problem statements what would be your one piece of advice to all of them i would like to say in the end that uh, we work together as a whole may uh, just to read a uh, paper so that how to work together as a team before you going to enter into the hackathon you should have a discussion among yourself that you are working together as a one and there are a lot of opportunities outwards where you have to work alone or can work with different people but if you are in a team you have a solution 
just try to have more involved discussion just bring people from outside and also have a discussion with other people as well try to get involved about this idea and with professors with your friends with other mentors as well and don't lose hope that we can't build it we can there's always solution to every other problem statement that is the one motto why have the come exist okay great mavita those are some very nice word to you know wrap it up and uh, this problem statement is actually you know uh, deals with <clears throat> a very common problem which is faced by you know people across the country and i'm sure people would be looking forward to find some very good solutions in the coming edition of the hackathon here and i'm sure your inputs your suggestions would really help them come out with some wonderful uh, solutions so thank you so much for joining bhaveta and we wish you all the best for all that you are doing in the future and every everything that you embark upon thank you so much for joining Thank you so much Vikas and the team for introducing me to this platform and all the best of you there. Thank you. Most welcome. For succeeding in Smart India Hackathon, effective communication is the key. Clearly convey how your solution addresses the problem and why it is a viable and impactful approach. We wish you all the best for your Smart India Hackathon project. Keep watching.